Anyways, hey guys, um, I'm here and um, today Holy Spirit put in my heart that, you know, to share a certain message, which I am going to be sharing to you guys today. And so let's get going. To start off our little talk, we're going to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 20 and it says for you were bought at a price therefore glorify god in your body and in your spirit which are god's you know it's so important because in our worldly lives you know whether it's your parents or whether it's your grandma your grandpa or however you guys call your grandparents um whether it's your boss or your friend whenever they buy something special you know whenever they present a gift before you a gift that changes your whole perspective, a gift that you always wanted. And um, especially like when the gift giver sacrifices something that they had, for example, a car, sold that car, for example, if they sold that car, a car which they loved just so that you can live up to your dreams, so that just like you can have something you ever wanted, that's meaningful. And when we hear about that, when we experience that, it's, like it's easy for me to say, but when you experience something like that in your life, you will totally understand it. And so when that certain special moment arrives, you know, not only do you for, not, you always cherish the gift and always you always try to remember the gift giver. We do that in day-to-day -day lives. We do that as humans to humans, but the great King, King of heavens, God of glory, God in heaven, he, he gave, he sacrificed his one and only son just for you, just for you. Thousands of years ago, he came to the earth, a king, King in heaven, King, the Prince of heaven came down to the earth, sinful earth, just so that he could look at you and die for you and that you could be washed by his blood. You know, and we, it's so, you know, it's, it's so us humans is that we forget the greatest gift. We look at these gifts, the gifts that are given by human, which are soon, you know, they're going to be gone. Like one day they're probably, you're probably going to throw them away or maybe one day they're going to be destroyed by something, you know? We, you know, it's, it's just that we forget this eternal gift. You know, worldly gifts, they will come and go one day and it'll be, and, but the eternal gift would God, which God in heaven gave to you, which is salvation, you know, through the sun, that's something we, you know, tend to forget about. And I, and I kind of wonder why we do that because it's such a great gift. But just wanted to tell you guys today that he bought you at a price. It was not a piece of cake, you know, it was God giving his only son and sending him to just, and watch him die in the world. Isn't, that wasn't a piece of cake. You know, I hope you guys understand that. Like, not that wasn't something simple. You know, we we think John three sixteen. Some of us think that John three sixteen is just a memorize, memorizing verse that we had to do when we were a little kid, and that is just a some somewhat story. But it's not. It's the truth. That's the living truth. And and most importantly, First Corinthians chapter four verse twenty. There's proof for that. It says, "For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power." So it's this is not some you know, storylines. I don't know how to, I don't need to exaggerate it because it's that powerful. You know, the, the word of God, it says in Hebrews, the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. So now, now that we've gone over the hard part, you know, understanding that and coming to the realization of that, that we were bought for a price, a price that had to be paid. You know, and Jesus was that price that had to be paid. And you know, now that we've gone over that first portion of the scripture, which is in 20 and um, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20, the other portion is that therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit. Well, how do we glorify God in our body? Well, do the things that God wants you to do, you know. Your actions have to be holy. The words that you speak have to be holy. And then it says, and in your spirit. So glorify God in your spirit, which are God's. So how do we do that? So basically, just for you, I have another um, verse, which is basically in Psalms. So let's move in Psalms. I'm basically trying to flip my Bible. 
um, Psalms chapter 16, verses 8. It says, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. When God is your first priority, that's basically your, that's, that's how you are honoring God. That's how you are glorifying God in your spirit. Um, when, when he is your first priority, like what that means is that the, the second you wake up from your bed, you know, in the morning, give glory to God, give thanks, pray to him. You know, it honestly changes the entire day. That's the main thing, guys. You know, you may be, you know, going through difficult times. You may have lost a loved one. You may have um, suffered a lot through this COVID-19 it's important though in the midst of all of this to know that there's someone who loves you so much who cares for you who thousands of years ago died for you which is no joke but actual real um this is really important to remember that daily on a daily basis not just black friday and not just on church you know we have to remember god um when he sent his only and only son to die on the cross for us you have to remember that every day because when you do it changes things it makes you change it changes your perspective on life and um helps you live a better life too so well, let's pray guys to your heavenly father thank you so much for this wonderful day you know it's just so important for you know everyone to realize this that it's not a story it's you you actually came down to this earth there's worldly evidence for that but most importantly it's just all about the heart and the mind. And I pray that whoever is watching this today, I pray you might please touch them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever they're going through, whether it's heartbreak, whether it's pain, whether it's suffering, whether it's illness, I pray, I pray you might please touch them right now. Holy Spirit, I pray you might please fill their hearts with peace. I am just your servant. And me saying these words, I pray you might please touch many through this. And I pray, Lord, that you might guide them in whatever situation that they're going through. That they're through the storms, I pray you might be their comfort. That you might be their shelter. We pray in Jesus' holy, precious name. I also pray for schools as they're opening. And I pray for the safety of many, many children. And many others too. Pray in Jesus' holy, precious name. Amen. Thank you guys for listening. And I'm so grateful for having um, weavers like you. Um, I just ask uh, just a teeny, teeny, teeny request that it would be really, really amazing if you guys could subscribe to my channel. It makes a lot, a huge difference and encourages me to make more videos because definitely this is a hard process. And um, if you would like and tell people, if you like the video, tell many people about it and comment down below um, for any video recommend or any videos that you want to see in the future. So. Bye, guys. May God bless you and keep you safe and sound. Amen. Bye. It's not a game. It's a